Hey, what's going on, guys? Hey, welcome back to another episode of Bad Beast Barbecue. Hey, we're doing this video in kind of like two locations, okay? I'm doing some of the indoor talking to you uh, down here in the man cave because, once again, the cicadas outside are very bad, and they're making a lot of noise, and um, I will be glad when the leaves start falling off the trees and those things go away where we can get back to recording and videotaping outside and actually talking to you, okay? But today what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be trying out something I saw in the store the other day. We're gonna be trying out uh, Cowboys Hardwood Briquettes uh, Garlic and Onion Charcoal, okay? This was very interesting to me. Uh, I'm sure these are briquettes that have uh, dried pieces of onion and garlic infused in the briquette themselves to try to impart some garlic and onion flavor into your meat, okay? And that's what we're gonna be testing today, okay? This is an eight pound bag. We're gonna be putting this into the uh, char griller, gravity fed smoker. We're gonna empty out all of the, uh, the, the remaining Kingsford that we had in there from the last cook. We're not gonna add any wood and the uh, baby back ribs that we're gonna be cooking today will only be seasoned with uh, black pepper and sea salt, okay? That way we know for a fact whether or not this garlic onion flavor gets infused in the ribs, okay? So, hey, no further talking. Let's go ahead and get this cook done.
All right, guys, so we finished with our cook, okay? Uh, I got to tell you that the aroma in the backyard was fantastic, man. You could smell the onion and garlic from the charcoal as it was burning in the gravity-fed smoker, okay? Now, uh, a couple of caveats before we have the taste test is that, uh, as you saw, we were using an eight-pound bag of the charcoal, okay? And I poured it all in the hopper, okay? So, uh, the amount of charcoal that was remaining was uh, a little more than a handful inside of the charcoal hopper, okay? Which leads me to believe that um, the infusion of the uh, dried garlic and the dried onions in the charcoal briquettes themselves um, sped up the burning process. So the, the briquettes burnt up faster uh, than normally would like regular charcoal briquettes like Kingsford, okay? So uh, an eight pound bag on a three hour cook literally almost disappeared, okay? So you'll have to uh, calculate for that if you're gonna be using this charcoal, all right? Um, second point I want to make is that it did uh, produce uh, an extreme amount of smoke for most of the cook, okay? So once again, that's probably the garlic and the onion that was dried into the briquettes uh, burning uh, during the cook, okay, but the smell and the aroma was fantastic, all right, so, um, but the biggest test is going to be, can we taste the garlic and the onion in the meat, okay, uh, that's why we season our baby back rib with just uh, salt and pepper, okay, um, and as you saw from the video, uh, we cooked it for a total of three hours, it um, up to a temperature of 180 degrees, a little higher than I wanted to, um, because I wanted to pull it off somewhere in the neighborhood of 155, 160, because pork is good to eat at 145, but I didn't want the rib to get so tough. So that's why when we wrapped it in the butcher paper, I let it rest for about 45 minutes in the cooler in order to try to let some of those juices infuse back into the baby back ribs, okay? So, hey, let's go ahead and taste this and see if it infused the garlic and onion flavor into the meat. All right, guys, so we got our rib that we cut out of the center. And uh, it's definitely got a, um, a, an aroma that smells like it has some garlic and uh, onion infused in it. Of course, you got the charcoal smell also. So the, the, it almost smelled like we added wood to the cook, uh, but actually we didn't, okay? Um, we just wanna see if the flavor infused into the pork. So let's go ahead and have a taste test. Yep, most definitely. I definitely can taste the garlic and I definitely can taste the onion flavor in the meat. And the ribs came out really good too. They got a really nice bite through. Uh, since I let them rest, they're moist and they're tender. They're not dry like sometimes like baby backs can get. And of course the salt and pepper. We used uh, black pepper and sea salt this time, not kosher salt. So um, I'm not sure that made a, a big difference, but you can definitely taste the garlic and the onion flavor in this. Let me get a couple more bites. Yeah, this is really good. Um, if you're interested in trying this, I would definitely say go ahead and check it out. Uh, Cowboy has some other flavors uh, that I'll put up here on the screen, like apple and so forth and so on. But the, hunt, the garlic and onion was very interesting. That's why I picked up a bag of it. But like I mentioned before, it's only an eight-pound bag, so if you're going to be using a gravity-fed smoker, then it'll probably only last for last you about three and a, three, three and a half hours at the most. And we cook these at 225 degrees on the char griller, okay? Uh, one other thing to note is that uh, the gravity-fed smoker held uh, its temperature 225, between 225 and 235 for most of the cook. However, when I went back, at the end, the temperature had gotten all the way up to 290 degrees. Um, so the temperature still fluctuated quite a bit. Um, so that's probably why my temp the internal temperature of my ribs were at 180 degrees, as you saw, okay? But these are fantastic. So you can't go wrong with using those cowboy um, garlic and onion uh, briquettes, all right? Well. That's all we have time for today. I'll put a link down in the description block. Uh, I think you can get these off of Amazon, but I'm sure you can get them at your local hardware store, wherever they sell charcoal Latin or cowboy uh, charcoal products, all right? 
And uh, also, I still can't say enough about the Char Griller Gravity Fed Smoker. I love that thing. It imparts some great smoke flavor, great charcoal flavor. Um, like I said, it's almost like having the flavor of wood and charcoal with the control of a pellet smoker, okay? So, if you're interested in getting one, check it out, okay? Well, that's all we have time for tonight. Hey, like we always say, where there's smoke, there's fire. If there's fire, then damn it, there just might be a barbecue there or some charcoal in your grill giving out a little onion and garlic flavor. Hey, as always, hey, we'll see you guys around the smoker. Mm. Definitely some good stuff. Check it out.